Hey everyone, welcome back to another New World video. I hope that everybody is having an absolutely fantastic day. And in today's video, we're going to talk about harvesting. Now, harvesting is uh, probably for uh, a lot of people just kind of those that time consuming task that you just don't really want to do it. And it's like other things, mining, maybe gathering some other resources. If you guys want some other ways of making a lot of money here on New World, New World really quickly, make sure you guys follow the content. Make sure you guys are liking, comment, and, and subscribing down below. It really does help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. I know you guys want to make money. You guys either want a bank account like mine or probably a lot larger. I have already spent $5,000 today and I still have almost $14,000. I'm spending it as fast as I'm making it because I'm constantly improving my character. Now, as far as harvesting, just like any of the other things that you guys are gonna do, as far as your attributes that you're gonna be putting into um, your trade skill, I do recommend that you guys go ahead and just kind of vary it up a little bit. Now, there's obviously ones that I'm putting off until a little bit later. I feel like weapon smithing, jewel crafting, uh, furnishing and fishing is more of an end game style whatnot arcana i think is going to be really important but we're going to talk about all these separately so if you guys want to stay more in tune with these then make sure that you guys go ahead and stay around by liking commenting and subscribing but anyway we're going to talk specifically about uh, harvesting now you can see that i am almost a 150 i'm actually fairly high and a majority of this is actually found or done by actually just collecting hemp which is basically right you can sort of gather right at the way at the beginning obviously you can start helping yourself out a little bit by getting yourself a better sickle you can get uh, better speed um more efficient with it um you can actually do some stuff in the specific area that you guys are going to be gathering whatever resource that you're at in order to actually mine it faster and then you can also go ahead and grab either like a bag or even like this amulet that i'm actually currently wearing that it increases my luck by almost eight percent to find a rare item so with hemp you're going to find a lot of shade cloth which is right right now a fairly high commodity due to crafting and it's going to be needed for even more crafting in the late game because a lot of the people that are actually doing a lot of the crafting that i have seen at least in my company and a lot of other people that are on my current server they're not even maxed out yet they're only producing for the most part a lot of you know that stage four um blues and then they're looking at stage four epics um or purples you know but they haven't done anything like they're not really doing a whole lot at like stage five or tier five and they're also not obviously creating any legendary gear yet and that's coming so the more and more people that get involved into it um there's going to be a lot of benefits for everybody however people need items that are always going to be of necessity so if you guys want to make a lot of money grab the basic amount of items um, i have three bags that are able to carry a lot you guys can see up here on my inventory portion i can carry almost 900 for my encumbrance um, obviously i plan on actually trading this one in so that i can get a better bag at some point in time that will increase it probably by about 70 already so i could have almost a thousand on me um, and then obviously if you go into the strength tier you can actually get another 20 just for being strength at i think it's 100 so if you're already at strength 100 take advantage of this but harvesting is where i make a majority of my money i was actually waiting and actually talking about this for a while because i i, I didn't really want to give away my secret just in case people are playing on my server that watch my videos and i didn't really want to do it but i usually start right here on the map it's right outside of windsward and i basically just kind of go in a huge circle starting from where i am currently at so what i do is i start here and then i head actually kind of northeast and then i actually kind of turn around and come back this way and we kind of just kind of intermingle all around here i kind of collect right here there's a couple dragon glories there's some life blooms there's some life jewel and also some scorch stone all in the area and then behind me over in like this general area you guys can actually find like earth spire and then death stuff and light and all that kind of stuff there are so many different things that you guys can collect around here 
so easy to gather and people just walk right by all the time and because it is a low level area a lot of people that are low level can't pick this stuff up yet except for the hemp obviously you're going to be competing with everybody when it comes to that and a majority of the times i'm actually doing this really early in the morning i'm talking like two o'clock three o'clock four o'clock in the morning because nobody is on and that's just because i'm actually up right now but i start right here i head off this way a little bit you can see there's hemp right there doesn't even look like really anybody's been in this area all that much. I can see some hemp there. There is some wire fiber over there. But uh, there's more hemp there. That's kind of like the last group of hemp that I usually end up grabbing. And then there's actually a couple snails along the way. So I'm hoping that they're there, but I can't guarantee that they're going to be here. But I'm just going to kind of run down like my path. And you can see there's a dragon glory right there. That's one of them. And there's actually two spots that snails can actually spawn in this area and they spawn roughly every 25 minutes to half an hour and obviously i'm getting a's off from this obviously um i'm almost maxed out so i have to be careful but one of the snails actually is right here now i think on my my server i'm selling hemp for 40 cents roughly per fiber so you can have obviously uh it turns into fiber so, so if i'm selling it for 40 cents a piece i've already collected from just a few seconds 114 different hemp you guys can kind of do the math on how quickly i can actually generate this and like, like i said earlier i found a bag that i really wanted because i'm not going to buy something that i don't really want unless i'm just going to use it for like harvesting look at that that tea just sold you guys look at that i mean that's I wanted to level up a little bit on, I mean, you can see that the stuff is starting to sell already and we're not even like really doing anything. Um, unfortunately, right before I made the mid video, I think I had like 800 hemp or fibers actually sell. So that was kind of a disappointment in the long run. You guys can see that that person is grabbing the life bloom right there, which is fine. It's going to happen from time to time. There's only two technically in this area. The other thing is, I'm gonna let that grab, guy grab the hemp, but this is the other spot that the snail will spawn. And then there's some dragon glories. Now, I am collecting the dragon glories. Uh, the last time that I did this, I did a full satchel collecting 900 weight of just fiber and dragon glory, and that's about it. And I actually, I've mostly sold that. It was like 9,000 fiber. And I was selling it for 40 cents a piece. Again, do the math, guys. You can make a lot of money doing this. And I also collected six Dragon Glory flowers in that amount of time. Now, the chance of that actually happening on camera, probably not really going to happen, but it's where it's at. All the base materials, for the most part, pro tip here, any base material is going to be needed for everything. Iron, if you can collect it at the beginning, you're going to need it for the rest of the game. Fiber, hemp. You're also going to need uh, leather, the, ra the rawhide. So collecting a lot of that is actually going to be very beneficial as well. Um, there's so many other things that you guys can actually go ahead and like, you don't have to just do fiber. I mean, flint is actually done very, very well. The thing that I don't like about flint is it takes, I can push a button, you know, once and I can kind of relax for a couple seconds while I'm collecting or harvesting. Whereas Flint, I feel like I got to mash my E button all the time. And unfortunately, I did it for a while. And then ultimately, it wasn't really for me. So, But if there's another way that you guys want to make money, I have like four other guides that are currently here on the channel that you guys can go ahead and check out and make a lot of money with. And right now, even on my server, um, these were originally selling for like $2,000 a piece. Uh, now they're selling for about eight sixty ish a piece, and I've sold quite a few. I think I've actually found ten in total over the time that I've actually been collecting all of this. And that tree isn't there, so it's throwing me off because I use that as like a landmark. Um, there's lodestone there, and then there's usually another glory right here, dragon glory, somewhere around in this area. Can't remember exactly where it's at, but it's right around here somewhere. And then what I do is I make my way into these woods right here. And I'll show you guys on the map where I'm currently at. 
you guys can see there's usually a patch that will spawn of hemp right in this area i think this guy, other guy that was just out there is kind of grabbing it so you can see that i started basically right here worked my way up around this way there's more hemp over in this area here and then along this area so just kind of find the right path i like to kind of go back this way because there's only like two big groups over there from time to time and it seems like people that come from like over in this way run right by it and then they'll grab it whereas they don't really come through the woods because they don't really think that anything important is, is along these tree lines here which there's like four dragon glory flowers in those tree lines that you can easily take advantage of so anyway hopefully this does help you guys out stay with the basics guys if you guys want to make money here on new world especially when your server um i i just feel like crafting is just one of those things uh just kind of throwing this in here at the last minute I talked to one of my main crafters in our company and he was telling me that none of his stuff that he crafts really sells at all and the thing that he's struggling with is he's putting so much time and energy collecting and spending his own coin in order to actually go ahead and basically craft up some of this stuff that he isn't really getting a return on investment and i told that i i would buy some things from him if there's certain things that i'm looking for but the chance that he actually the chance that you actually craft something that you're actually looking for is a lot less likely than crafting or going out and making money this way now also everybody's play style is so different so you can have something that you absolutely hate but you can get on the market and it can actually do extremely well so and yeah some of the stuff is selling for really good you know 400 to two thousand dollars for some of the jewelry there we go we got some salt pepper that i actually threw on the market again it's all about the essentials like i was mentioning before but anyway i don't want to drag this video on anymore if you guys want to check out more videos related to making money here in new world make sure you guys do that but until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it and you guys stay gaming